From our studios at historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee, coming to you from my exclusive studios right here at Arnold's Park Amusement Park. I've got here with me today, i got Clay Norris from the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association and Gary Lambert, uh, Gare, uh, from Route 86 uh, Records. And welcome, guys. Thanks for coming in with me today. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Well... You know what? It's a sunny day in Okaboji, and, and let's go sit in a dark room. Let's go sit in here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Well, we're talking about something fun, you know, and we are talking about, and the name of it is Iowa Rocks Featured Pick. Feature Pick, yep. Feature Pick is what we're talking about, and who wants to explain this to me? Well, I'll just say... Because it's coming from two different it's aspects. Really Gary, yeah. It's Gary's idea, and I just wanted to kind of explain our involvement a little bit, or what happened. Sure. Gary contacted us and said, I got this great idea. I'd like to have, um, you know, he'd set up his record company, and he'll tell you more about that, and said that we're able to, you know, distribute music now on a lot of platforms. And I believe you told me that it was inspired somewhat by the fact that our association was started by John yep. Sen yep. and Rudy, uh, excuse me, um, Iowa Great Lakes Records. Yeah. And, um, you know, back in the day, it was accomplishing the same goals that you guys want to do, mm -hmm. is giving Iowa artists, uh, especially up and coming people, things like that, an opportunity to actually record yeah. and, and you know, get uh, their music distributed. And of course, today's world is in completely different than, yeah. you know, making 45s <laughs> right. in yeah. Milford. Um, so, you know, anyway, that's, uh, and of course we said, boy, that's incredible. We'd love to be involved. And yeah. um, so anyway, uh, I'll let Gary take it from here. Yeah, like, yeah, um, like Clay was saying, um, with Route 86 Records, what our, idea was is to feature local artists mm -hmm. that was the main goal and kind of taking like you said the tribute to john sen with what he did when i first moved down here in 2005 john was one of the first people i met and kind of got me into the music community and yeah. just hearing the story of what he did with the record company there in spirit lake and all the hit they had and the artists all, all the artists from the area yeah i thought if we could somehow carry that on tradition in a small way Albeit, so we started Rudy Six Records, and then we've got about seven or eight artists on the label now. We're always looking to add, yeah. and then um, with Clay and the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association, we've always enjoyed working with them as bands, mm -hmm. Rock of the Cart, Boone and Lambert, and stuff like that. And right. I thought perfect partnership for the record label to kind of branch out, keep it Iowa based. But there's so many artists out there. Yes, it, it doesn't have to be rock and roll, but rock and roll, country, rap classical, Latin, whatever. There's what, so Whatever much your down. genre is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're trying to think of a way to maybe feature them and with the feature pick, hopefully we'll be able to do that, getting some tracks in from artists, um, bring them into the studio to record or give them some feedback on some production ideas and right. mm -hmm. music ideas and just kind of a network and to help them. And then with the distribution, like Cleo's saying, we have the access with the record label to release their music to the world. Yeah. And, and get it out there. I mean, that's a big deal, you know. And um, and you're doing like what one a month? Is that kind of what you're? Your yeah, that's our goal. That's your goal. One a month, yeah. if you know, if we get a couple, two a month, but uh, or one every two months. But we'd mm -hmm. like to get one in a month. Um, our first one is, I can tell you a little bit about that one. It's, yeah, it came out today. So go out and look it up. Uh, we'll give you more info here. But the, I went in and worked with the Okabel Okaboji Elementary fourth graders. Joe Gerke runs a program there, does yeah. a great job. So she brought me in to work with them on some rock and roll ideas. We played drums, we played guitar, and we taught them about rhythms, and we did a lot on um, songwriting. So we actually wrote a song with them about Okaboji. <laughs> they gave me some ideas about their favorite things to do, like riding the legend or going to get a bite at the Ritz or Pirate's Cove. And, and made that all part of that. Yeah, so we taught them how cool. to rhyme it and then put it together in a song. We taught, I taught them kind of just, uh, keep it short, but about um, classical music too, how a lot of the popular music they listen uh -huh. to is based on uh -huh. what came from Beethoven and the song that we picked was from Pachelbel. Pachelbel's canon that you hear at the weddings all the time. Yep. But it's kind of cool. Every rock and roll band has done a song to Pachelbel's canon 
U2, Queen, Green Day, oh, everybody. Wow. Yeah. So we well, took every type of music has forebears. You yeah. Know, that yep. it yes. evolved yeah. from something. Right. Yeah. You know, Eric Carmen did a lot of that. Oh, he, he was yep. a classical. Yep. He is a classical. Yeah. The Raspberries yeah. has one too. Yep. yep. I looked at the list, and it's every band yeah, you think yeah, of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's 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 great for the ear. But so we took that the canon, and we took all the Okaboji stuff they like to do, and they helped rhyme it, put it together, and. Fun fact, listen to the song, find it, it's called Okaboji Let's Go. Yeah. If you look up Okaboji on your music service site, it's one like the fourth song to show up because there's not a ton of songs that have Okaboji yeah, in the title. Yeah. Right, right. But one thing we did with the kids, we thought, what else could we do? So we, we um, bought 80 harmonicas, all in the key of uh, D, because Pachelbel's canon in D. 80 said, harmonicas. Yeah. You, so are, I, you are amongst the bravest <laughs> men I know. I have to show you something later, but yeah. <laughs> So once we get to the solo section, I have the headphones on, and I say, once we get there, I'll just point to you and you just all blow and play whatever, because you're all in the same key. Yeah. It does something to your brain. I it, bet. It's like, it's not like being on something, but I, it, it's a happy feeling. It's almost like the- It is happy. The craziest, <laughs> the craziest synthesizer in the world. It, it works, but That's it doesn't cool. work, but it works. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. Just trying to imagine 80 fourth graders. <laughs> <in our lives. laughs> yeah. But they didn't play a bad note. That's yeah, awesome. That's cool. All notes. That's cool. So, brought her, so wrote it all together, and, mm -hmm. and so did they perform it, or did you come back to the studio and perform it? How, how, yeah. Okay. Um, what we did, we wrote it, and then I took the um, Pachelbel back and Rock a la carte. We kind of put the backing track down, laid yeah. some guitar, piano, and drums, and then I sent the backing track to Joe, and she had the kids work on it and work on it and work on it and right. write the lyrics. So then we came back to the school, oh, probably about four months ago, and we recorded them singing and the harmonicas Aww. and then put it all together. And That's they're actually, really cool. um, this will come out later, but uh, tonight at their concert, they're going to perform it. Awesome. Yeah. How cool. Yeah. And that makes it theirs. You know, yep, I yeah. mean, uh, they were in every aspect of production of that song. Right. So we thought it'd be cool with the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association to kind of kick it off with the Okaboji and some kids and the because you guys do such a great legacy of the youth and teaching the youth about rock and roll and right yeah. just all kind of work together to that'd be a good kickoff song and yeah. that was one of the, when i told the board about it they are really excited we had a board meeting last night and they wanted me to talk about it a bit mm -hmm. and that is this kind of two-part thing that we have in our in our mission statement is you know celebrate the legacy of the music obviously yeah. Yeah. but We've got to inspire the future of yep. it, and right. um, so it. You know, we have Ira Rock's talent. We um, we have you know at the induction weekend and other times we give workshops and so forth. But this is really a neat opportunity, and and I guess we should point out that even though the first one was youth, it, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, you right. could be eighty years old if you want to, and and yeah. come in and uh, you know do a song if you've never been recorded and you've been playing all these years to realize so, a dream. Yeah, you know exactly. And you were talking about John Sen before, and you know, and it's still. It, it, I mean, this when you win American Idol, you get a recording contract. Mm -hmm. You know, and and uh, mm -hmm. back in the day with uh, Iowa Great Lakes recording, Peter Rabbit. You know, I mean, to get on, get to have a 45 pressed yeah yeah and it was right here in okaboji it, people don't realize how immense that was then and, and it's still great to get mm -hmm. recorded and, and put your music out yeah there. in the 90s in our bands is when you got that cd and yeah, it on the yeah. Radio, it was. <laughs> so i wanted to give that opportunity to people and like yeah like clay was saying all ages you know mm -hmm. five to a hundred yeah. any style yeah mm -hmm. we just want we just want to get get iowa out there and another amazing thing that Gary offered uh, to us is well to everybody is that we're splitting the any money that's made on Spotify or iTunes or any of these other platforms that comes in a split three ways so it's split by the <laughs> artist by us yeah. By, yeah do you know how much you get per stream uh, we should talk about that later. Nah, <laughs> We're not going to get rich. This no, is, no, <laughs> no. It's, but it's it's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a cool thing. But yeah. but mm -hmm. still, if you're if you're an artist and you've got it and someone purchases yeah. it, someone is purchasing to yeah. listen to your music. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if it catches on, maybe it gets picked up by Disney Channel or you never know. MTV and in today's world, well, things go worldwide. That, they call this World Wide Web thing. I understand that yeah. <laughs> it goes worldwide. Oh, yeah, the interweb? What? You have to tell me about that later. The interweb, yeah, yeah. I've heard about it. 
yeah so we'll split it between the artist and the association and yeah so everybody will get a piece of the pie yeah it's neat one. it really is neat how cool now how do people if someone's watching and you're like you know i've been performing since the 70s uh, area places and so forth i would love to be recorded what do they got to do to, to get into you guys well there's a couple different ways okay. um i've got to reference this mm -hmm. but uh it is root 86 records at gmail.com okay. and then you can reach Gary yeah or find us on Facebook or Instagram right or anywhere. you could also contact us at Iowa at Iowa rock and roll dot com or Iowa sorry info info correction info at Iowa rock and roll dot com okay or you know just give us a call spelled out it's in. not Irma it's no I okay yeah all yeah, right yeah no yeah, so look up Rudy Six Records or the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association and just Lots send of ways us an email. To do it. Or, and yeah. We'll get back in touch with them. Another like vision of this thing is between the experts and musicians at, at Route 86 Music, we've got people. So if this is something like if you're looking out and you know uh, an artist wanted a critique or whatever, a little mm -hmm. bit of help, I mean, we've got the resources of yeah. our Hall of Fame people. Yeah. And, uh, board members and just you know friends oh, and, yeah so many resources yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and it keeps the legacy going yep different styles I mean if there's a certain style I know between the two of us and our groups we can find somebody that yep. kind of is yeah you mentor know, and yeah production well like and, these guys are you know queen heads you know they really <laughs> do a good job with queen and, yeah so if we get the band that the queen band in we'll be okay with that yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly well, well wonderful well i appreciate oh, did you have we something need else a here elvis track for august so yeah, yeah. oh the yeah. ideas i, I hmm. don't know anybody anybody and but, the, uh, yeah to, yeah we'll we'll come up with somebody <laughs> but also with this project too it could be an original <laughs> song or a cover song with the record label, we have the cover license, so any song is open. Um, it costs a little bit more for the license, but not much. Right, right. Okay. Per year, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. So very good. Well, maybe it's about time we heard some new Elvis tracks. It's been a while since. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, wonderful guys. Thanks for coming in and talking about Thank this. You. It's going to be. This is so cool. You know, at uh, uh, for for young people to learn where rock and roll music and where it's gone since, to uh, have a sense of uh, producing something. This is all great. So I appreciate you taking the time to do this and coming in and talk to me too. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks, Jeff. My appreciate pleasure it. indeed. We want to thank Gary Lambert and Clay Norris for being here with us today. And as always, we thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake, Last Touch Painting and Cleaning providing interior, exterior, house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. Duckies Marine and Motorsports, repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Attorney Bethany Brands at Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. V Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. The YMCA of the Okabojis is the Bedell Family YMCA, building strong families and strong communities.